Okay, the next thing we said we'd do is we'd mount the CPU. Um, CPUs are uh, relatively delicate things, so you do need to be a little bit careful uh, in dealing with your CPU. This one's a, an AMD LE1620, LE, uh, and I've got my fingers all over it and I shouldn't. Now as you can see on the bottom of the CPU, all those are little tiny um, pins, and um, as you can see on the CPU mounting plate, it's full of tiny little holes. Um, there again is really only one way it goes. You'll notice when you look at the um, base of the CPU, there's always a corner that's got a little triangle in it. little triangle um, should have a corresponding little triangle uh, on the CPU mounting plate. In this case it does, and it's just here. So what we do is we make sure that that corner goes to that side. Now, what I should have done first is lift that up. Okay, we lift that up so that opens up the, uh, the mounting plate so that we can drop the CPU in. Just like that. It's sitting in there nice and firm. So we push the arm down and lock it in. So now that's seated in there. The next thing we need to do, with most um, cooling fans these days, they come with thermal grease on the base. With some of the older ones you get a, or some of the more high, actually the high profile ones, you actually get a tube of thermal grease and you squeeze it on. Um, these things don't get that hot running at a standard clock speed, so you don't really need to worry about it. Um, they can be fiddly to get in. Um, I'm not going to try and do this one-handed because uh, holding the camera is um, a little tricky. But essentially you'll see that there's uh, hooks on either side. There's a hook there and a hook there. And what you need to do is loosen the clamp uh, you sit it on, you get the hooks on, uh, and then you tighten the clamp. So, um, as I said, I'm not going to try and attempt to do it one-handed, but the next time you see the case, the fan will be mounted. Thanks.